Coach, I want to share an idea, kind of a concept that you can use in practice to make your practices more competitive. It's called the competitive cauldron. Now, there's lots of ways that you can do it, but the idea behind it is have your players t compete against each other and keep score over you know, the course of a week or maybe a couple of weeks and find out who kind of rises to the top in that particular area. So let's say we're shooting. Uh, if you're shooting three-pointers and you're competing against another player, then you're going to find out who the better shooters are. Uh, because they're going to win more often. If you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to find out who the, kind of the better scorers are on our team. If we're going to be doing some kind of uh, decision-making drill, we would find out who can make those decisions and can get, you know, make more buckets or get to the hole more, whatever it is that you want to use. You're going to have players compete against each other. So let me take a quick look here and show you exactly how this is done. First, I've kind of got a competitive cauldron sheet here, so I'm going to keep track of it who wins and who loses each day, that's going to help me as a coach figure out where my better players are. And what you'll find are your better players are going to rise up to the top uh, over the course of the week or however long you do this. So what we have here is we have six hoops that we use. A lot of gyms have six hoops. So hoop one, two, three, four, five, and six. Each hoop has two players. So assuming that you have 12 players on your team, we put two of them there. And we're going to use a shooting drill, for example. Okay, let's say we're shooting three-pointers. We put two minutes up on the clock and we're gonna have them shoot their, their three-pointer. So at the end of the two minutes, one person will win and one person will lose. Okay, so what happens is, this is gonna be kind of our, our winning court here, so our winners are gonna go here. Everybody else is going to be rotating around, so every winner from these hoops is gonna rotate. So let's say player four was our winner, they're gonna go down, player five was the winner here, they'll move over, player seven won, down, Player 9-1 is going to move over, and then player 11-1 is going to move up. The only hoop that doesn't have a winner moving is going to be this top court here. If player 1 the game, player 1 won the game, then player 2 is a loser, and that loser is going to come here. And they've got to work their way all the way around again to get back up to this top court. So if you were to do this in the preseason or the beginning of the season and you put two minutes on the clock every day or maybe you did it two or three of them. Two minutes isn't a ton of time so maybe you were able to get two or three of these in. Every time you had a winner they would rotate around and we can keep track of who won on our sheet here. We'll also keep track of who is at the top court. So who is in that winner's court the most often. So players have a chance to do it. Maybe we want to keep track of our one-on-one. -on -one. So we'd have everybody play one-on-one -on -one against each other. That's going to work on ball handling. It's going to work on finishing. And you can put different, uh, different kind of stipulations to things. You only have three dribbles. Or you can only shoot inside the paint. Or you can only shoot a jump shot. Whatever it is that you want them to work on, go ahead and put that in there. But you can create your own competitive cauldron and have them compete against each other and every player has an opportunity to move up the pecking order or to move down and ultimately we're going to keep track of that. The other thing that you can do is put your lessen the number of groups that you have and put two players together. So now we're going to use some two on two. So if we have 12 players, we have six groups of two, we're going to just use three hoops and we're going to work on some two on two things. So maybe a ball screening is something that's big in your offense or maybe you're going to be working on driving kicks. So those are where your shots are going to come from. You now paired them up with somebody that also has to perform. So the competitive cauldron, we like it to be one on one because that shows you what that individual can do and they're not it's not skewed by somebody else, but when you're working on actions in your offense, then you can certainly put in there a, a two versus two game of some kind and have them do that. But this is a way to keep your practices competitive, let the players know where they stand, and now you know where they stand as well in the program for different skills. So coach, hopefully this is something that can help you as you're you know, planning out your practices, trying to mix it up, trying to do some different things. Instead of just having them do the same old thing every day, the same warm up, the same shooting drills, put them in a competitive situation where they're actually seeing you know, and competing against somebody else. So it puts a little bit of pressure on them. It's a fun way to do it. So, Coach, whether you're seeing this on my website, if you're seeing this on any social media or on YouTube, leave me a comment. Let me know if this is something that you do, something that you'd like to try. I'd love to hear back from you. Uh, but until next time, Coach, get in the gym and get your team better.